Hi, my name's Richard Payne, and I'm going to introduce you to the new Panasonic PTZ camera, the AWHE2. Now, as you can see, the, the Panasonic HE2 is, is the smallest in their PTZ range. PTZ stands for Pan, Tilt and Zoom. And the HE2 isn't like the traditional PTZ cameras, which have servos to move them, to physically move the camera left, right, up and down. PTZ stands for Pan, Tilt and Zoom. So it's a camera that can be remotely controlled to do this. This camera can pan, tilt and zoom, but it does so using a new technology, using a, a very high resolution chip inside. It does an electronic pan, tilt and zoom whilst maintaining the full quality of the image, which is up to 850 lines of resolution and it can be 1080-50p, uh, 1080-25p, 1080-50i or 720-50p or 576 as well. So standard def and high def all in this, this small package. Um, the other unique thing about the AWHE2 camera um, is the list price is about £700, so it's considerably cheaper than everything else on the market. So let me take you through some of the features. First of all, in order to show you exactly the connectivity, I'm going to take it apart. So we just take the, the back cable cover off and also there's a, a release button here and I can take this stand off as well and here we can see the unit in more detail so what I need to do is feed my leads through and I can show you that there's a power input here and Ethernet connection an Ethernet connection for for network control which I'm going to connect to my laptop um, there's a full-size HDMI out for the high quality video output there's also a micro USB connector here which you can use to power it so if you haven't got the mains adapter or you're not in a place you can use the mains adapter you can just use a power out from a laptop or from another USB source there is also a micro SD card slot here but that's for updating firmware and nothing else at the moment so as you can see on the front of the camera we've got a stereo microphone so unlike all the other cameras in the Panasonic PTZ range this one actually has a built-in a uh, built-in microphone and we've also got a, a tally light and a standby indicator here which you'll see when I switch it on so we'll just feed these through and then we'll connect the Ethernet the 5 volt DC power and the full-size HDMI connector like so we slide this ring in like that and it clicks into place there's a release there to, to release that if you want and then the cable cover comes on and just clicks into place and there we have the unit connected up and if you look on the front of the unit here we've got the orange standby on now we just have to wait a little bit of time because we've just plugged in the uh, Ethernet lead. We've got to wait a couple of seconds for the computer to, to uh, pick, up, pick up the Ethernet connection so we can control the camera. So while it's, while it's picking that up, I'll just tell you about the control options. We can control the camera wirelessly from an iPad just using a browser, either Safari or Internet Explorer, or we can control it from a, a laptop like this. There's also a hardware controller the AWRP50 from Panasonic, which has a joystick and, and buttons on. So if you're using it in a live environment, that's a much better controller for, for controlling this sort of camera. Because these are IP-based, you can have up to 100 AWHE2 or a combination of the different Panasonic PTZs on one network, um, one network port being controlled by one controller, either a laptop, iPad, or, or desktop computer. You can now see that we've opened the, the desktop control panel. So you can see there's an image here. Now this image isn't the same quality that we're going to get through the HDMI connection. It's a, a lower resolution, it's 640 by 360 and it runs at 30 frames a second. But it certainly is enough for control. It gives us a good idea of what the camera is connected, uh, what the camera is seeing. As you can see from the image on here, it's a very wide angle picture. We're actually, in 35 millimeter terms, it's 18 degrees, which is ultra wide angle. So it can be used in very tight, confined spaces. And then I can go to this pad here to control pan and tilt. Now, initially, we don't have any control over pan and tilt because we're seeing the full width of the image. So what I need to do is zoom in first. And we've got up to a two times zoom in. So we can zoom in like this and then we've got the ability to, 
to track and to move around the image. But this isn't like a digital zoom on a, on a standard camcorder. This does not lose resolution. You're still getting 850 lines, 19, 20, 10, 80 out of this, even when you're zoomed in like this. So if you use, there is a four times digital zoom as well, and that will lose resolution. But this this initial zoom, this intelligent zoom, does not lose resolution. So we've got the full, full um, resolution of the image when we're using this. We can also set preset positions. So I can go to preset one, and uh, we can move the camera, and it will jump to a position I've previously put into the camera. This is it's really useful if you know you've got several people sitting around a table, you can have preset positions for the person on the left, the person on the right, or the person in the center. Uh, you can also set up to nine of these preset positions, so you can very quickly get between all these preset camera positions. And of course there's no sound. Because you're physically not moving, there are no servo motors or anything moving on on the head, uh, you're able to do all this with uh, absolutely noiselessly, so it won't interfere with the audio recording, which is just as well because we do have that decent quality stereo microphone at the front. And it will work with the entire range of Panasonic cameras, so if you need a locked off wide shot at the back, which might occasionally use, this could be the perfect pairing with the Panasonic AWHE60 or the AWHE120 camera. Um, so all in all, a very neat little package.